love it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. And a great good evening, good morning, good afternoon to you out there. This is Mark, your one-take beer reviewer, the guy who writes about Chicago beer, and moving into spirits a little bit at beeronut.com. And I am trying to catch up with a lot of work here because it's uh, the Monday before Thanksgiving. I have been constantly updating uh, my articles with the lists of all the Black Friday tappings of bourbon barrel aged stouts and other heavy beers. And there are some on tap for Black Wednesday as well. So taking a break though because I have had some more stuff that has been sent to me by people who uh, I guess say that I am an influencer and they would like to see me talk about their product here so yeah that's all right then and I've got two of them right here and uh, just apropos of the occasion I thought I would come make a new uh, drink new to me that is that uh, it's a, a tequila based drink called a Paloma and it has, uh, well, tequila, little lime, and grapefruit type beer. But first, what we're going to talk about is uh, one of these items, which is called salt teas. Uh, and we'll go through all of these. They're basically like little gummy strips that you can put around a glass with, to uh, rim it with salt. Uh, this one actually has chili lime and uh, mango chili. It's not all chili. Then here is some sweet and sour uh, peach and a little gooey tube of paste with uh, chili as well. So uh, I'll be playing with those a little later. I think we're going to start though with uh, this one that is a salt and lime, so it's entirely appropriate for this. And we also have, um, I'm looking over at my notes here, um, something called no, 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 not salties, but the uh, Silligrams. This is basically a 3D silicon printed ice mold that they can customize to put your initials or your company logo in. And I've worked with played with this before I find uh, as they recommend you want to make these with distilled water so it doesn't frost up and made these uh, didn't fill these all the way because they were getting a little tight but uh, also put a little food dye in it in hopes that uh, someone will be able to see my initials that they put into these so I'm just going to put these all on the plate and probably just stop the camera and try to take a quick close-up before everything melts on this close up if I angle that a little bit you can see where they did get my initials on here I put just a little couple drops of food coloring onto these so I had a better hope here let's turn this the right side up so I, I had hoped it would show up a little better well that was fun I think wasn't it yes it was so let's do something with this ice before it all melts into a little pool of colored water uh, so this is what they call a Paloma. It is tequila, a little bit of lime, and uh, a grapefruit soda. And of course they recommend, yes, you can make it with a grapefruit beer. Usually you might want a lighter grapefruit beer like a Rattler, which is beer with uh, grapefruit juice. But of course what I found was this thing called Bergkopf beer, a Belgian style ale with grapefruit flavor. Despite the Belgian and German style name, it is actually made in Lithuania, but uh, it's a pretty uh, grapefruit heavy type beer, so I think that's going to work for us. So let's uh, first off start by opening the uh, salt and lime salties. If it gets too messy, of course, I will probably just cut away and come back to it. So it comes on uh, little strips in, on a little sheet of plastic. Um, and I think we shall just, whoops, do one of these two strips here. Just for demonstration purposes, there it is. So uh, let's us drop an ice cube in it and start with two ounces of tequila. Which is about as much as I have here. A 
a little shot of lime juice, which will go, of course, with a little lime strip on here. And we'll go the rest of the way with our grapefruit beer. I don't recommend coloring your ice cubes. It just kind of says, what have you got there? Do a little stir, and uh, here is where the magic happens. So what we've got is the grapefruit Paloma with a uh, little gummy salt rim around it. Mm. Yeah, the lime strip is uh, pretty tart and tangy actually, and then you're getting the salt in with it. You kind of want to chew some off, and uh, yeah, whoa. I have got a lot of tartness just from this uh, little, little strip of gummy lime, so that is pretty well uh, managed, I think. I'm almost afraid to try the chili ones. They're probably pretty darn hot. But yeah, um, it's a very sharp lime flavor, and it really uh, gets around and uh, adds some uh, interesting flavor uh, to uh, this uh, little tequila thing. I think it just needs a little bit more tequila. So let's just finish our little bottle. Yes, this was the Yankee Bandito tequila that uh, I had been sent last earlier in the year to uh, talk about. So, see, things go around, they come around here. And I, good thing I put out this towel because, yes, this does go on, this is going to spill a lot of salt as you try to put it on the glass. But it's a very interesting uh, way to do this. They are suggesting, for instance... For the chili paste, you could rim a uh, beer can or a beer glass and kind of make your own michelada, which sounds like another thing to try later on. So yeah, ooh. That is a very tangy lime strip. Which, of course, uh, you know, when we go to extremes like this, that uh, kind of makes us just want to beg for more. And uh, this is Mark, your one-take beer reviewer and mixed drink uh, reviewer for today. And the guy behind Beeronaut.com, uh, trying to come up with uh, your gift ideas or just uh, some recipe ideas for the holidays. And uh, you have a good turkey day now. Now don't be 